Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of SimCity Offline. I have been putting this episode off for a couple of days now because mainly because I just I wasn't in the mood to, but now I'm back at it, and we're here in our academy city where high tech stuff go down. And yeah, um, we're just gonna be mostly high wealth, medium wealth, and a bit of low wealth in this city. But um, yeah, so the thing we want to work on today is expanding the city and getting more high wealth workers in. And also, we want to try to get rid of industry freight. So what we want to do is, this is something I learned from watching like Skystorm's video, but basically, oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright, don't destroy anything major. Okay, um... God. Okay, at least it uh, struck the. Okay, it didn't strike anything. <laughs> it didn't destroy anything. Okay, that's good. Very good, very good. I like it when that happens. It hits the one spot of the city where I didn't have any housing. Very nice. But uh, anyway, what I was saying is we. I'm gonna try to mix in residence and shops because what this does is it um, it allows people to walk to work really easily and um, shop so um, I'm gonna replace most of these with uh, commercial and this also makes it so that there will be a no no industry city like um, if you saw my last time lapse I made uh, that city is mostly just um, residential and commercial I did not have any industry in there but like to get that to work you have to lower taxes and stuff which is alright I guess uh, we have freight commuting in from other cities so that won't be a problem for us because uh, was it commercial zones really need freight to operate or else they'll just abandon you unless you give them tourism or something like that and lower their tax rates and if you do that then they won't leave but they still won't have freight so it's kind of weird um, I remember there's this thing you can do in SimCity 4 where you could uh, where you could just set no, no, not SimCity 4, I'm sorry. Uh, you could just set your taxes all to zero and just zone a residential everywhere. And doing that, everyone will become max density without you doing anything because everyone's happy. No one has to go to work, no one has to shop, and you'll just have this city with like a bunch of useless sims. But uh, aside from that, let's... Um Let's work on some problems here. First and foremost, we need some clinics around here so we can get those six sims off the street. Very good, very good. And um, what we were doing, we had this going. I'm going to destroy some of these houses. Um, mainly these. And what else? This one, this one. Okay, that that should be good enough. Let me see how many jobs. Um, jobs okay. Of course, we have this office tower right here, but uh, we will go. We're going to utilize some more of this space, and hopefully, we will make it look prettier. All right, so let's get rid of this whole section first because we don't need it anymore. We have mega towers to supply low and medium wealth the town is mostly going to be high wealth sims so okay um, make sure we disown this stuff first 
Oops. Okay, uh, those will go away on their own. So let's see. We have high commercial demand right now, and we have a bit of high wealth or high wealth. Yeah. So we want to. Let's see. Let's convert all this into high wealth first and foremost. How's my water like? Do I need this? Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll put another one here and delete this one. Right on. All right. So a good way to measuring a good way to measuring city lot spaces is with this right here, medium field. Um or you could just use the regular t tree space, but this is more helpful because it gives an actual representation of one high density building. So even though it costs quite a bit of money, um, you shouldn't really worry about it. So I'm going to do some of this off camera, some renovating, and uh, I'll get back at you. All right, I finished this area here. I had to um. I have to turn this off because I was actually losing since I just deleted that whole area over here full of low wealth. Actually, you know what? Um, low wealth isn't that bad. I mean, to be honest, we need a bit of balance. So I'm going to go ahead and redraw that district here. I'm trying to make it a little bit better. Um, let me try to eyeball this. So, oh yeah, we still have this area too. We have to work with. Um, we'll just extend that. But this is going to be a bit of a uh, area for low wealth. Um, let's try to find good road placements here. We're trying to avoid many intersections. I gotta work on this area too a bit more later on. Mm. Let's check out our tool here, our handy dandy tall tree row. Oh wait a minute, this is going to turn out to be a, a medium wealth, right? Okay, so parent, okay, basically, yeah, this is gonna be our medium wealth, I guess. Medium wealth sector. I finish this off. Um, we can go over this, kind of like so. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Just a road right over a tunnel, and then we're going to continue it on towards here. And zone, zone, zone. Alright, we're going to rezone, we're going to dezone this um, area here. I'm going to put mainly these guys. Oh wait, that won't work, wouldn't it? I need to remove those. I'll do it later. And also for this area, we don't want to have a cluster. Also incorporate some commercial zones in there as well. I'm gonna get rid of this. Actually, let's just completely rezone this place. So we're going to have one, two houses. I think that's two. I'm just eyeballing it right now. And another. This needs to extend to the end. It can. Come on, work with me, boy. There we go. Basically, what this creates, putting shops right next to uh, residential, is for shopping, people will just walk to um, shops instead of actually driving there. 
which is good on traffic. I also have another mod, it's called Car Crossover. I did a review on it, or I did a video on it just a while back. Not, not a while back, but two days ago. Uh, you should really check it out. It's a really good mod for uh, traffic management. So basically what it does is, uh, this is a brief, brief explanation. So, you see these cars? Okay, wait. I'm gonna slow it down a bit. Um, let's try to find a good example here. I guess no cars are really going home. Okay. These cars are going home, looks like. Alright. So, this is what's going to do. So, it's going to drive towards its house, wherever that is. Uh, this is, um, never mind. Um, let's try to find a better example. This guy. Oh, no. This guy's commuting. God dang it. It's hard. What's this guy going? Came from... Okay, this guy's going home. Okay, he's probably... Okay, but uh, anyway, the gist of it is um, when people want to go home, let's say this is their house right here, instead of going from, let's say they're coming from this way, instead of going left, going all the way to the down end of the road and then making you turn and going into the house, they'll just take a left right here and uh, yeah, it's, it eliminates lots of problems later on in traffic wise. But, yeah, so let's, um, I want to get rid of this four-way intersection right here, and instead, I want to put a bridge. Okay, um, we need to even it out. I, I like stuff even sometimes. I don't know. I get the OCD from playing a Minecraft and not too much, but what can you do, you know? Anyway. Uh, we're going to fix these roads. Alright, very good, very good. So now what we want to do... I kind of want to have a road that... Over here that kind of curves just like this road does. But this coal power plant's in the way and... I really don't think we can have that happen. So I'll just zone right now. I'm gonna have some commercial here for these low wealth sims. Or at least I think it's low wealth. Hopefully it's low wealth. Yeah, it's low wealth. Um, so we're gonna place more and more of these. Okay. More low wealth. And more low wealth, and more low wealth. Yeah, very good. We're gonna have to put a park here because there is that oil. I mean, that coal plant. It's not gonna bode well with these imbeciles. It's gonna complain a lot. Complaining is something I don't like. Oh god can't put this anywhere well I guess you have to live with it anyway got that done so what else do we want to do we got this upgraded very nice um, let's see we don't need a wave power plant fusion might be nice the air scrubber uh, waste reduction level let's try to go for this so we can get that Fusion power plant. Uh, those are pretty good, I assume. But before we do that, we need to get more money. Okay, sewage sanitizer, wind and solar. I don't really use wind and solar. Control net facility. Now we need this if we want to make an omega city. Alright, uh, we're going to save money for that. So, I'm going to do some stuff off camera here, I'm going to work on it some more, and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay, so I put one of these things, um, they're supposed to futurize things, right? But apparently they're not. I don't know what the dealio was up with that. Yeah, see, I don't, these are supposed to futurize these roads, but it's, it's not, I don't understand. 
but uh, anyway I don't really know where to put these parks I really need to find a better use for these parks because um, I don't know putting them in random places just it just feels kind of awkward just kind of like this this is just awkward the placement of it it's just random I mean you don't go to like some um, you don't go to like some park and have it like placed in the middle of essentially nowhere no one really does that but I don't know these things look nice I like these things they uh, release balloons everywhere even though they're expensive I don't care balloons this one is 480 per hour now this one is like 700 per hour but who cares they release balloons Oh man, alright. So, what else do we want to do? I think we're going to have this road extend from here on down and also for this road as well. So, it kind of makes like a nice um, area here. Let me check out the land value. Looks pretty good. We are going to put some maybe a commercial here just for these guys to shop we're also we also might put like a central park around here and some tourist attractions I don't know we'll see about that um, we need some low wealth so we're just gonna use our mega tower advantages with us add that mega tower on that B too much crime, too much crime, really. Man, making me spend money. But, uh, looks pretty good so far. The city, we got our cool residential area. What we want to do is upgrade these roads to high density in hopes that they'll expand into high density, of course. High density is always good. Um, we're gonna make that bridge, make that hoe, make that bridge, kidnap that hoe. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yes, expand my little minions. Give me money, pay my taxes. Kind of like America. Every country, actually, every every country pays taxes, but it's just that. I don't know. It's the presentation that counts. Oh yeah, beautiful office skyscrapers. Beautiful, they said. Ooh, okay. Here's a great place to put another park. Right here. Fits in nice and snugly into that little crevice. It looks nice all swell. Oh yeah, look at all that high you know you know what I just realized? I have a clinic and I have another clinic over here, so oops. Um what I added, so basically what I've done is I've kind of filled in some of the empty spaces that were unused by these buildings. This one is still yet to develop, but uh, I'm pretty sure oops pretty sure that should be enough what is going on with garbage they're full oh no uh, forgot forgot to put that down oh well uh, I really need to get this ground scrubber in the academy so basically what we need is the ground scrubber and to get that we need level 4 upgrade which is going to be a pain in the butt to get um, I think we need a control net facility, so that's what we're gonna research. But um, I've added in this. I forgot that I had this, the SimCity launch park. It's pretty cool because it releases balloons into your city. I mean, who who doesn't like balloons? Come on now, who doesn't like balloons? If you don't like balloons, you don't have no, you don't have a soul. You be sure you should be ashamed of yourself. But uh, yeah, balloons. But uh, yeah, so just getting rid of some continuities in my city. I'm gonna get rid of 
this, the zone, the zone. So basically this is just maximizing the contents of my city. Um, I think we can fit another park. Yeah, very good. And uh, I think we're going to put some shops up. Sorry. Uh, we're going to put some shops here. Maybe. I don't know. I got rid of the shops here because I and I added some more shops in this uh, area over here, which is really good. Mm, we need to work on our low density. Where is our school? Our school is right here. We need to give these guys education. Educate my students. Ma ha 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 Educate. Education is key. Alright, we're gonna get rid of that. We'll get rid of this little sliver. Actually no. Um We need more desktops. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Alright, so looks pretty cool so far. Um, how is our bus? We don't have a bus, do we? Mm, we're gonna add one later. Kind of strap for cash. Mm, yeah. But we're going to have these guys uh, density up. Sorry, goal. Uh, we need to do something with this space over here and this space. Wasted space is not allowed in my town. So, right, I'm going to work on some more stuff, like adding more roads and stuff. Using, making use of this space. I think we're gonna have kind of like uh, some kind of building complex area over here for more high wealth residents and maybe the medium wealth. Do we have demand? No, we do not. Um, so yeah, we'll see how about that. So let me work on it some more. Okay, sorry about that. Something went off. Um, I had to stop my recording to let happen. But anyway, um, so yeah, I've I'm kind of planning on adding another sec uh, another sector over here for more residential area but i don't really know what to zone i'm probably gonna have it be medium wealth as we have lots of medium wealth people uh, that want to move in first of all let me check my land value that's but yeah that's perfect perfect for medium wealth and i found out what to do for this area here i want to make more of these balloon stands because look at look at the balloons Oh man, so many balloons. Alright, I'm gonna screenshot this. Uh, no. The sun, it's so much glare. You know what? I have a, I have a good name for this place. I'm gonna name it Balloon City. Because balloons fly everywhere. Balloon City. Ah oh, man, the balloons are gone. I can't screenshot that. Um, let me see. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna make a sector over here, and this is going to be our um, our medium wealth sector. Sector, sector. It's kind of French, but uh, in the unlikely event that we had to crash, um, please I'll remind you that. Um, Obama is always there and for you and me and uh, Obama is really hip oh, yeah anyway <laughs> enough of that um, all right uh, what were we gonna do what was I gonna do um, I was gonna zone more of this right I'm going to have this go like this Kind of like that, and I'm gonna have this turn. Come on, guides, work with me here.
can I be happy? Happy, happy, happy can be. Yeah, that looks cool. I think. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know. I just don't like making like straight up like squares when I do my residential, but that I, I seem I feel like that works best for like traffic and stuff. So I don't know. I'm gonna split this down the middle. And I'm gonna have that. This is gonna be a community park. Actually, community park at this place right here. That seems okay. And also, we need to have some um, places. Actually, we'll just have another community park across the street and fills in all the gaps. Very good. So, what we want to have here is just a back to back. Oh, is that a. This, this is not what I want. High wealth. Uh, one high wealth is fine. It's not like the end of the world having multiple high wealths, but more zoning, more zoning. For now, we're just gonna have them both on both sides as so. Uh, we also are going to put in, incorporate some, some of commercial. And we need to make use or beware. Oh, this is done. Awesome. Cool. I got that. Let's um, let's add an annex. So we we want to have the fusion. Um, this one. Yes. This annex will give us lots of power. Um, we're gonna research fusion which we can't darn it but uh, yeah we'll do that next episode I guess but anyway for today oh balloons more balloons oh, wait uh, let me try to get the screenshot in I don't know how good that was but balloons man Oh, here we go, here we go, balloon. Haha, -ha, good screenshot. Okay, anyway guys, uh that's it for today. Got some good stuff done. Got look at look at this. Look at this sector. Just look at this area. Oh my god. That is just cool. That's so cool. These buildings, man, especially the commercial buildings, they just they just look so fantastic. It's so cool. Um oh yeah. Of course, we see an opening. We want to grab that opening. Haha. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.